Hey, what is up everyone? This is Ben from the Fire Pod Spot and welcome to another Chili Review. Uh, this time around we're having a look at the Bantam Thimble, which apparently is a Thai ornamental variety which has also been recommended by some people here and there for cooking with, so we'll see how it is anyway. Alright, so first things first, I'll just cut this thing open. Okay, that seems to be right. It's just really tough near the stem, that one. Usually they're much, much thinner, that section, but that's okay. Just taking a picture. Just make sure I got that stem completely off. And um, before I eat it, I'll just uh, just point out. There we go. See that green up there? That's from where the stem sort of bleeds into the pot itself. It makes it really tough. It's it's like almost woody at the top there. Oh well, we'll see how this thing tastes now. Got a bit of crunch to it. Very capsicum y. It's like a hot bell pepper. Yeah, it was different. Um, it's got a little bit of heat there. Um, picture something like maybe a, a cayenne or something like that. Um, yeah, just a little bit hotter than jalapeno. It's um, it's not unbearable at all. Um, not for most people, I don't think. Uh, depends on how you handle jalapenos, I guess. But yeah, maybe wouldn't put it quite as far as uh, cayenne. It's just starting to peak out already. It, it peaks really fast. Um, there's hardly any of the hot stuff in that. Because when, when I was eating it, it was, it was juicy. There was lots of like watery juice in there, but there's hardly any of the uh, the oils in there, so it doesn't last very long. Like right now, it's just a just a bit of a glow in the mouth. It's um yeah, it passes very quickly. Um, <clears throat> so flavor, yeah, like I said um, while I was chewing on that. It's um it's very much like a like a bell pepper like a like a capsicumy sort of flavour, um, just a little little tiny bit um, less sweet than a bell pepper, um, sort of like um, somewhere between a, a jalapeno and a bell pepper in sweetness. It's um it's not terrible. It has um, it's got a bit of an aftertaste to it, but it's not a bad one. It's um. It's hard to put your finger on exactly what it is. It's a very green sort of aftertaste, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, it's 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 not bad. That passes very quickly too, by the way. Um, the whole flavour's passed out of my mouth very fast. Uh, yeah, cooking with that, I could see working out pretty well. Um, getting some nice, you know, really good fresh picked pods and um, putting them into a salad would be good if you... You know, use it the same way as you would, say, a, a bell pepper or something like that. And, um, yeah, like little little sliced, like thin sliced pieces or something like that. I uh, wouldn't really put it in a sauce. It's it's not... Um, it, me, personally, I, I prefer, like, a sauce to have a lot of bold, interesting flavour that sort of sticks around a little bit so that when you're putting the sauce with something or on something, then you notice it... Um, that I don't think would quite work for that. Um, maybe putting into a into a like a, um, a stir fry or something like that. If you had a good, you know, good amount of those, uh, it could work out pretty well too. Um, but yeah, first of all, I, I would really recommend though, above all else, use it um, 
like uh, like you would a, uh, like bell peppers. Obviously, they're much smaller, but use them in the same way as you would bell pepper to produce a similar flavour, but with just that little bit of pop, just a little bit of heat to it. Like not enough to disturb someone and upset them. And I think even non chili heads will find those things to be okay. Um, but it's a yeah, it's a, it's enough to sort of just add some heat while retaining that that capsicum sort of taste, I think. I think that's what they're, they're best suited for. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, like, all in all, I wouldn't say it's the most interesting um, chilli that I've ever eaten before, but I do see them having a place. They're, they're not a bad tasting one. They're just... Um, they're, they're, they're more of much of a muchness. Like, if you've had bell peppers before, then you already know that flavour. And the bell peppers do win by having a little bit more sweetness to them. And if you want a nice spicy pepper, then there's always, you know, there's always nicer sort of just different ones for that, I guess you could say. But um, if you had if you had a plant full of these things, yeah, by all means, use them. Um, they're much nicer than some of the other ornamentals I've seen. So, you know, and bearing that in mind too, it is an ornamental variety. Um, which apparently doubles as a cooking thing, not it is sold as a culinary variety. Um, it, given that that sort of angle on things, um, yeah, just sure, it's it's actually quite good. So, um, yeah, that was a little bit rambly towards the end there, but I hope you guys enjoyed my review of that. Um, I do have a couple more yet to come. I've um, got two chilli pods as far as I'm aware, maybe three depending on what happens with the third one and um, yeah it should be hopefully sometime soon getting some other interesting bits and pieces but um, time will tell to see how that works out and um, as always let's um, keep things spicy, keep things um, responsible <laughs> even though this wasn't terribly irresponsible this time around but i always had to say it and um, i'll see you guys later on so